Good morning guys, this is Laura from the future. I basically just forgot to start this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It is Monday at the time that I was recording this. So yeah, enjoy this vlog. It's a bit of like a meaningful one. I kind of have like a bit of a, a deep talk with you guys, but I also have a little glow up and do my lashes, which you can see here and dye my eyebrows. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. So I am ready for the gym. I am actually going to take some of my pre-workout right now. I do dry scoop it, which some people think is a bit weird, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I just feel like it gets into the system quicker. So I use the My Protein um, Impact Pre-Workout Orange Mango and Passion Fruit. And then I am going to be taking it with the Peach and Raspberry from Bulbic. It looks like that. only one scoop and it's really bitty like it's done and you don't have to like drink like 200 300 mil of it because you just scoop it right let's go to the gym i am going to do a extra 5k i need to finish off my week five run three i need to do 20 minutes of running straight i need to do 20 minutes of straight running um, so I do have this C4 energy drink, um, it's orange flavour and everyone says it's amazing so I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to grab my headphones and head to the gym. Just making sure that I put on my SPF which I actually put on loads, I'm not going to lie. I always use the CeraVe facial moisturising lotion, it's got SPF 50 in it and I put it on every single day before going out into the world because like today today it is literally like overcast and cloudy however it does not mean that the uv rays cannot get through the clouds make sure that i do it and i make sure i drag it on my neck as well because you don't want to have not a wrinkly face and a wrinkly neck i also might actually go on the sunbed today kind of feeling like it i did go on saturday does it look like i'm tanned Absolutely not. Let's head to the gym and just crack on with the day. Fireflies glowing bright. Fortnite, we're dancing in the spotlight. Fortnite, Taylor Swift. Whispers in the dark. Echo through the trees. It's just you and me. And this gentle breeze. Under the moonlight. Hearts beating fast. Under the moonlight. We'll make it last. I have just finished my first 20 minute run um, and I'm just about to start stretching. I'm very proud of myself with my lips that I'm looking right now. I thought we'd have like a little chit chat because obviously I've just been to the gym and I've just completed week 5 run three of couch to 5k and honestly i'm so proud of myself because that was a straight flat 20 minute run that five weeks ago <laughs> I genuinely did not think I'd be able to do that. I started doing this, I started Couch to 5k when end of June, I think it was, end of June. We are now on the 5th of April. No, we're not. We're on the 5th of August. I started it for like a challenge and basically to try and like help my overall health because I, I've been diagnosed with so many different things that I am going to make a full complete video on. But I've basically been told like, you can't lift weights, you can't lift anything more than a kettle, you can't do this, you can't do that, but you can do like yoga, you can do Pilates, you can go running, you can do cycling, you can do swimming. Basically like all of the light exercise workouts I'm allowed to do, but anything like heavy, I'm not allowed to do at the moment because I'm waiting for surgery. Because of that, I started running. And obviously I found Couch to 5k and the first run you do is like a 30 second run or a 90 second run, something like that. And honestly, <laughs> I struggled so badly just with running for 
a minute, a minute and a half, whatever it was. And now being like week five, run three, able to run for 20 minutes straight. Like I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to do that again from leaving doing gymnastics a couple of years ago um, when I ruptured my ACL, which there is a video on YouTube. I'll put the link up here. Honestly, I'm so proud of myself. My little goal that I have in my head, which to some people might be so not be so little, and to me it's kind of also not so little, but I want to make it little, <laughs> is to be able to do a park run, which is 5k on a Saturday morning, I think at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. And I want to be able to do that and say that I can run 5k. So that's why I actually started to do the 5k runs. Well, couch to 5k. So today obviously I ran the 20 minutes flat out. You do five minute warm up and then a five minute cool down as well. It was really good. My legs did start to cramp up like halfway through. That was my fault. <laughs> I did forget to stretch before. So guys, if you're doing that, stretch because I learned my lesson. It's not a nice feeling, honestly. But yeah, I'm very, very proud of myself. And as you can see, I am still a little bit red. This shine isn't sweat, it's because obviously I use my CeraVe um, moisturising lotion and it kind of gives you like a little glow, which I love. I'm going to get in the shower and then later on, about half four, I'm going to be going on the sunbeds um, with my mum actually, because she wants to try the place out that I go to now. I did that, I also did like a little ab workout at the gym too, just to try and like keep the abdominal muscles like intact. I actually might do my lashes today, but I don't know. I need to see if I've got any lash stuff left. I don't know if I do or not. We're gonna have a little look. We're going to have a shower and just, maybe actually just relax for the rest of the day. I might put on some Netflix or YouTube. YouTube is very much my comfort zone at the moment, especially being off work for the past six, seven weeks. I'm not actually being able to do basically anything apart from the light workouts that I've just said. Like I haven't been able to do much. Obviously, I went to London with my dad the other day on Friday, which was amazing. But doing 27,000 steps around London, oh, it was painful. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I love going out on days out, like dad and daughter days out with my dad. Walking around London for that length of time, really, like, it was really painful. And kind of is, in a way showing what my body can and can't do at this moment in time. There's also another reason as to why I am off work because I'm not able to do things that I was able to do even like a couple of months ago. Like that's how much like so far my body has like gone downhill, which is, it is sad, but what can you do? The doctors and surgeons are, they're on it like a carb on it. They're literally like, they're trying everything, but yeah. I am also going shopping with Maddie on Friday, which I'm quite excited for. I don't know if I'm actually going to buy a lot. I might, I know we're going to Primark and I really want to have a look at Hollister. I want to try and find some nice little summer dresses, but I want them to be like, kind of like belly friendly, if that makes sense. Because at the moment my belly, I'll show you, my belly is like quite bloated for the reasons of like, having adenomyosis and PCOS. So my belly at the moment is looking. So from the front, it doesn't actually look that bad. But from the side, like can you see like how bloated that is? We're trying to find stuff that's belly friendly and it's not too tight on my belly. So I would like to find some like little dresses. I am going to go pop in the shower now. I need to do a hair wash actually. Um, but I also am getting my hair dyed on the 23rd? 4th? I think? It's a Tuesday. Um, so I'm getting my hair dyed there as well. So I'm going to be going back all over blonde, but just mainly through highlight. I'm going to get rid of this brown. I don't want to get rid of all of it, but I want to get rid of like the majority of it. And then I'm going to be getting booked in for hair extensions, which is really exciting. So obviously I'm out of the shower now, my hair is washed, you can see like all of the different tones in my hair as well, which is why I'm wanting to get blonde put back up to like my roots sort of thing. I have used my glow body butter thing from Dove, I'll show you. Um, it is the Care and Radiant Glow Body Lotion from Dove, it's pink and 
does it make you glow? I don't know. But that's what I've used all over my body today. Um, I'm going to go and make myself some lunch. I don't know what I want, but I'm going to make myself some lunch. I want to be an American singer. Sing this to a swift composer, actress, director, and screenwriter. I'm gonna do my lashes whilst my eyebrows die. Sorry. So, Fingers crossed I can do it within the time frame. With blue eyes, owner of a beautiful butt. This is the stain that I talked about earlier that I have actually accidentally done by dyeing my eyebrows. Which is actually really annoying. I don't know why I look so green in this light. I don't understand. <laughs> so I've made chipotle um, mayonnaise. I've made some homemade salsa. I've got some mayonnaise here just in case. I've got some balsamic rice and some baby lettuce. And then we've got some marinated chicken here which is just sizzling away at the moment and that is going to be our dinner for tonight. I want to be an American singer Sing this to a swift composer Actress, director and screenwriter Heartbreak, powerful magazine cover